Hi there, my name is Kim Berkeley. I'm one of the authors of the Speaking Out About Self-Injury blog over on Healthy Place, and today I wanted to talk about relapsing after a self-harm sober streak during the holidays. Now, ideally, if you have a self-harm relapse, then you also have a relapse plan that you've prepared ahead of time to deal with this situation. But I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video, it's either because you don't have a plan yet, or you feel like your plan could use a little extra finessing. So, if you have a relapse, especially during the holidays, the first thing that you need to do is think about what might have triggered it. Now, the holidays are a time when a lot of people are under a lot of pressure. There might be financial pressures, there might be social pressures, you might feel isolated if you can't spend this time with people that you care about. There are a lot of things going on, so it can be uh, difficult to exactly pinpoint what triggered your relapse, but it's important to try and think about especially what happened that day or the day before um, and what was going through your mind when it happened. Because this will help you uh, not only deal with this relapse, but help you prevent future relapses because you can think about ways to either avoid that trigger if you can or find better ways to cope with it next time it comes up. The second thing that you want to do is to think about what helped you stop self-harming the first time around. These are strategies that you already know worked for you in the past, so there's a high chance that they will work for you again now. Um, and so these are a really great place to start when trying to get back on your feet after a relapse. The third thing you want to do is reach out to somebody. Um, if you have a mental health professional that you can talk to, a counselor or a therapist or anybody like that, um, this is a really great person to reach out to and get some support and talk about what happened and why it happened and what you can do to get back on your feet and to prevent it from happening again in the future. Um, if you don't have somebody like that or you don't feel comfortable finding somebody like that right now, uh, you can also just reach out to a trusted friend or family member, somebody who knows what you're going through and can help give you a little moral support during this time because any kind of extra support that you can get right now would be really helpful in not just coping with this but also uh, recovering more quickly and more effectively. Finally, I want to remind you that this is not something that you should blame yourself for or shame yourself for. Uh, you are not back at square one, even though it might feel like you are. Um, the fact is that you've already proven at least once that you can get clean. And so all you need to do now is think about what helped you do that in the first place and then just put a few more strategies in place to try and avoid what happened this time from happening again. Recovery is not a straight road. There are a lot of twists and turns and it's very normal to have a relapse. Obviously, it's better to avoid it if you can, but it's not a sign of failure or weakness if you can't. So most of all, just remember that this is not the end of the road. It's just a minor detour. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, please leave a comment on the blog and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy holidays.